Right now, you're just a tiny, transparent egg floating helplessly in the vast, chaotic ocean. You're packed into a cluster of hundreds, glued to some seaweed, bobbing around like forgotten beads on a string. Suddenly, your egg sac starts wobbling, a cue for your debut into this world. No pressure, but the ocean is already rooting against you. Predators are lurking, waiting for an easy snack, and to them, you look like jelly-filled candy. A great start. You hatch barely the size of a grain of rice and immediately start swimming with the grace of a malfunctioning propeller. Congratulations, you're now officially plankton. This basically means you're small enough to be food for just about everything. Your first challenge, survive. Easier said than done when you're stuck in the ocean's equivalent of rush hour traffic, dodging jellyfish tentacles and predatory fish. And, uh, where are your siblings? Oh, never mind. A fish just ate them. Weeks pass and you've had enough of the floating lifestyle, you decide to settle down, literally, on the ocean floor. It's time for your first big transformation, your once transparent body begins to thicken, your arms grow longer, and suddenly, you're covered in tiny, specialized cells called chromatophores. These let you change your color, sorry, texture, and overall vibe. Wanna look like a rock? Done. Coral? Easy. Disco ball? Maybe work on that one. Now, you're not just an octopus, you're a stealth machine. You test out your camouflage skills by blending into the sand. A passing predator swims by without even noticing you. Feeling confident, you stretch one of your eight arms and accidentally smack yourself in the face. Okay, baby steps. At six months old, you've leveled up. You're still a solitary creature. Octopuses don't do the whole family bonding thing, but you've set up shop in a cozy den made of rocks and shells. This will be your base of operations for hunting, napping, and hoarding shiny objects. Yes, shiny objects. You're the magpie of the sea. Your diet expands to include crabs, shrimp, and the occasional unlucky snail. To crack open a snail shell, you use your secret weapon, your beak. Yep, under all that squishiness, you've got a parrot-like beak that can crush through armor. You're also starting to master the art of hunting. Using your camouflage, you creep closer and closer to a crab, tentacles ready. Suddenly, you pounce. Tentacles wrapping around your prey like a sticky nightmare. Dinner is served. Life seems simple, but danger is always nearby. One day, a shadow passes overhead. It's a shark, and sharks love octopus sashimi. Before you even think about running, you unleash your ultimate defense, ink. A cloud of black ink bursts from your body, creating a perfect decoy. While the shark goes after your inky silhouette, you jet away like a startled balloon. Smooth move, except for slamming into a rock mid-escape. As you approach your first birthday, you become the ultimate escape artist. But survival isn't just about running away, it's about innovation. Octopuses are problem solvers. One day, you stumble upon a bottle with food inside. Instead of giving up, you figure out how to unscrew the lid. It takes a few tries, but you do it. Feeling smug, you carry the empty bottle back to your den, adding it to your growing collection of treasures. Shiny, useless, and yours. Your intelligence goes beyond tools. You're a master of mimicry. Need to scare off a predator? Pretend to be a venomous sea snake. Want to blend in? Transform into a patch of seaweed. Feeling theatrical? Become a coconut complete with rolling away motions. The ocean is your stage and you're the star. At two years old, you're an adult. Time for the big leagues. You're no longer just surviving. You're thriving. You've grown to about three feet long, tentacles included, and weigh as much as a chunky house cat. Your hunting skills are top-notch, spotted a crab scuttling across the sand. You spread your arms like a living net, trapping it with ease. Found a shellfish that's hard to crack. No problem. You use your sharp mind and even sharper beak to break it open. Your strength isn't just physical, it's mental. You've learned how to observe and outsmart your environment. A curious diver approaches, camera in hand. Instead of hiding, you grab their camera, inspect it, and toss it aside. You can't eat cameras after all, but you do steal one of their shiny scuba tools. Hey, finders keepers. And then love, or something like it, calls. As a solitary creature, you've spent your life avoiding others of your kind, but now it's time to mate. You encounter a potential partner, and after some awkward arm waving, the male passes you a spermatophore, a sperm packet. It's not exactly romantic, but it gets the job done. Once the deed is done, the male wisely swims away before he becomes your post-date snack. Over the next few weeks, you lay thousands of eggs in a hidden den. These tiny pearls of life will be your legacy. You fan them with water, keeping them oxygenated and safe. You scare off predators with ink clouds and aggressive displays, but as the weeks go by, you stop eating. 
Your energy is entirely devoted to your eggs. It's nature's trade-off. New life for old. Finally, the day comes. The eggs hatch, releasing a cloud of tiny, squishy octopus babies into the ocean. They float away, starting the same perilous journey you once did. Exhausted, you sink to the ocean floor. Your mission complete. What a life, huh? From plankton to stealth master, problem solver to egg guarding parent, you've lived a short but extraordinary journey. The ocean may forget you, but your story lives on in every tiny octopus drifting in the currents.